Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, first thing, I just wanna say that uh, thank you for watching the videos. Uh, we have gone over 600 subscribers this week. Uh, our goal is to hit 1,000, so if you're not uh, a subscriber, please do me a, a big solid and get down there and hit that subscribe button and uh, click that notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I put up a new video. Uh, I try to do one video a week uh, here lately. I've, I have been doing one video a week. It's been fishing. Uh, but yeah, I'm also going to be doing uh, some more Phoenix Boats uh, videos coming up. But yeah, thanks for following along. And uh, just like everybody else who starts to make videos and gets more and more views, I do have a hater out there. He goes through every one of my videos and hits a thumbs down. <laughs> so guys, if, if you don't like my video, please just don't watch it. You know, um, don't, don't hit the thumbs down. Cause what that does is that keeps it from uh, being advertised or, or pushed out to people who do want to watch it. And I have gotten a lot of feedback that guys like my videos. And uh, it's mostly the older guys, uh, guys my age and stuff, or guys that fish around Old Hickory. Um, they like watching my videos just for entertainment. And, and one more thing about my channel. Uh, I'm not trying to show y'all how to fish. If you've noticed, I have not done one how-to video. And all it is is just a video about me going fishing. So, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to be something that I'm not. I just go out there and I uh, document my fishing trips, especially the little Tuesday tournaments that I fish every week, uh, weather permitting. And uh, that's all it is. But if, if you guys want to see uh, some different content, uh, do me a favor on this one. Uh, down in the comments, put what you would like to see. And, uh, you know, do you want to see more videos about Phoenix boats? Do you want to see more fishing videos? Do you want to see some how-tos? And if you want a how-to video, uh, be specific. What is it you want to know? Uh, you know, do you want to know how I fish jigs? Do you want to know how, you know, I fish Carolina rig? That Those are my two big strengths. Um, the other stuff I just fish with, <laughs> just like anybody else. But yeah, do me a solid and hit that subscribe button and share this video. Uh, just trying to get it out to people like me who is, are disappointed in what's on TV here lately. I'm sick of watching the news. So I go on YouTube and, and I follow a bunch of people from all the way at the top, like Jacob Wheeler, to other guys that, you know, fish the Cumberland River here in Nashville and fish Old Hickory and, uh, you know, little guys like myself. And those are the ones that I enjoy the most because it's not about production value. Uh, you know, I don't have a cameraman. I don't have, you know, thousand dollar software. Uh, I have two GoPros and I use my uh, MacBook computer, you know, iMovie to do these. I'm not a professional editor. So please don't hit me with that thumbs down button just because you don't like the way I edit my videos. Just don't watch them. <laughs> but I'm just trying to do this uh, for, you know, content for people to watch. Uh, I know I love it. And uh, today's gonna be the second vlog of the BFL season. Um, we were supposed to fish Percy Priest back in, uh, let's see, last month. And it got canceled due to high water. And I'm when I mean high water, it was up in the parking lot. Uh, the, you know, <laughs> and you couldn't launch the boat. Uh, it was really bad. So what they did is they moved Percy Priest's Music City Tournament to the Sunday following our Center Hill Tournament. So what does that mean? That means, hey, today's Thursday. I'm driving up. Uh, I rented a house. And uh, with, you know, uh, my brother-in-law and a couple of my other fishing buddies, we rented a house. Um, I'm going to be doing a practice video for Friday. And we got a tournament on Saturday, which is our normal Center Hill tournament. And then Sunday, we're going to fish the makeup for a priest. But uh, anyway, yeah, thanks for uh, watching the video. And we got... 
you've got the boat all ready. We got the boat all ready. I'm not gonna cover it while I trailer. And I got all my stuff loaded up. Uh, you might say, man, you take a lot of stuff. Well, I'm on a keto diet, so those two coolers have ice and special food for me to eat, to cook at the house and to uh, take out on the boat. And then of course, you know, uh, one of those is a breakdown kit in case I break down on the road. Two of them are tackle and reels and line. And one of them's my clothes. So yeah, that's, and you know, I say my clothes. I have, I do have some hanging clothes that I hang up back here. And of course I got my pillows, my GoPro box. And uh, I deal with allergies real bad. So I have to carry this Honeywell HEPA filter so that I can breathe. But yeah, you can see I've cleaned out everything. Got the spare prop, spare hub, hub kit, all that's in the truck and I'll take it to the house and kind of wiped out the board in case I need something. I don't have to drive all the way back home. I'll have it at the house. And uh, yeah, for those of you who think you're gonna break in my truck at the boat ramp and steal all my stuff, I don't leave it in there. I take it in the house. That's what I like about this uh, this cargo glide, man. Turn this right here. And I can get to all my stuff real easy to unload. It's pretty cool, man. It's got a frame mounts to the bed like that. And I got LED lights. So at night I can see in here real well. But I'm happy with this and, and I did it for stuff just like this when I travel for fishing and get my stuff out real easy. But yeah, we're going to get this boat hooked up and uh, we're going to get out of here. So, hey, stay tuned and uh, we'll be seeing you soon. Just doing some checks before we get on the water or get down the road, sorry. Hey guys, if y'all own blades, you need to get yourself some uh, socks for your blades. Uh, I like these by Rod Warrior USA. It's rodwarrior.com. They're able to put, you know, whatever logo, brand, boat that you have, and they can get different colors. But the reason why it's important you do this, when you go on, when you're traveling down the road, the bushings get worn in uh, in the hinges. That is the number one cause, or number one replaced part on a uh, power pole. So, I, sometimes, you know, when I have a short fishing trip, I don't put them on, but when I'm getting on the road, I know like I got an hour and a half drive, uh, I definitely put those suckers on there. Got that. That's all tight. Make sure not to forget my key. People have asked me, hey, what lock do you use? Well, that is a DuraSafe lock. And what it was, when I ordered this lock for my coupler, I also ordered this one here for my hitch. And I ordered one for my spare tire lock. And I ordered locks for my graphs, all three of them. And I also ordered a lock for my Ultrex. And when you order them all together, uh, they key them the same. So the same key, you can see the lock on my Solix right up there. Uh, all of my locks are keyed the same because I ordered them all at the same time. But anyway, yeah, we're all hooked up, ready to go. Let's get on down the road. 
<sighs> Next stop is, I gotta try to see if I can find some gas. Uh, I'm gonna drive around Lebanon to see if I can get some gas uh, to fill up the boat before I get up there. I think if I fill up the boat, I can make it three days without needing gas, but we'll see. This gas shortage thing has got me kind of worried about this weekend. Uh, I know they'll have it fixed next week, but this weekend, you know, bass boats burn gas, so. But hey, thanks for following along. Here we go. Well, we made it to Center Hill. Uh, I could not find any gas in Lebanon uh, that was non-ethanol. And I like to run non-ethanol on my boat, but uh, I drove up here. I'm right here at uh, Raglan Bottom, which that right there is the road to turn in to go to Raglan Bottom, which is where we're launching. And right here at the turn is uh, Fiddler's Campground and Market. And as you can see, there's their phone number right there. They have a campground here. They sell bait, ice. They have a grill. Veteran owned and operated. Uh, the campground is right back there. And of course they have the gas pumps right here. Which I, I just, I've already topped off my boat, but I just wanted to show this for everybody. Nice little place. Always got to support our vets. Yeah, let's go in and uh, show you around the place. Here. They have specials for the grill, fresh hot biscuits. Welcome tournament fishing. There you go. Oh, yeah. Come in. It's got a little market. They got a little few odds and ends here. Got your drinks. Little necessities if you need any. And they have a grill and they're going to open up for the fishermen so they can grab like a uh, biscuit to go get a bag of ice get some gas they do specials but yeah good little friendly place right here and uh, I highly recommend that if you come up to Raglan Bottom, y'all stop by, give them a visit, support their business. They're veteran owned and operated. And I'm a vet, y'all know that already. So I like to give money to people that I can relate to. So, but anyway, hey, we're gonna go get checked into our house that we rented, get unpacked, and uh, we'll see you in a minute. Man, I tell you what, I just got done having dinner at I don't know if you can see it, the sign there. Hillcrest Restaurant. It's right here. Uh, it's right across the street from the uh, gas station and right beside the road going to Raglan. Little restaurant, good meal. I, I really enjoyed it. Well, let's go show you guys the house. We're at the cabin that uh, we rented. It's gonna be a few of us staying. Got uh, my brother-in-law, Steve, my buddy, Jeremy Walker, and my buddy, uh, Rocky Williams. And then uh, we rented this house. And uh, I tell you, it's pretty nice. We got a kitchen here. Got a living room, little deck out here. Got hockey going on the TV. And uh, 
This will be with my brother-in-law, Steve Stan. And here's a bathroom for him. And then go over here. And here's where I'm going to be staying. I have to bring my own pillows. I can't sleep. And uh, got a nice bathroom, shower. Yeah, so uh, yeah, pretty nice place. Got a little thing for me to hang my clothes up. Kind of wish I had a closet, but that's okay. And then come downstairs. Here's where Rocky and Jeremy will be staying. They got a little couch area. A couple of Of beds, restroom. There's a couple more beds out here, and then got a laundry room and that's locked. I'm sure that's probably some kind of garage or something that the owners have, but yeah, nice little place. Pretty expensive though. But, uh, it'll do. We're, we're one mile away from the boat ramp. I wanted something convenient. Well, anyway. Let me let y'all go. I gotta, I gotta throw the cover on the boat so we don't get all kinds of sap and stuff on the inside. So we do have a lot of trees. I'm gonna throw the cover on the boat, plug the batteries in, and uh, get to unpacking my clothes and all the stuff we got. So hey, we'll see you in a little bit. Good morning. Practice day. Friday. Uh, before, I tell you what, we really like our cabin. It's uh, got pretty much everything you need. And uh, going to get me a little breakfast this morning. This is me a little keto breakfast sandwich and some berries. But yeah, we're going to be headed out. It's a little foggy this morning. But uh, and it's a little chilly too. So we'll probably throw on some rain gear and get on the water. So we'll see y'all later. I just uh, launched my brother-in-law, Steve. He's down there with the boat. I gotta go pay. Gotta go pay for my launch. And there we go. I'm guessing the water According to my calculations, is about, according to hummingbird maps, 19 feet over summer pool. And that means the water is in the trees. You can see it's, it's way up. And it was up higher before. They still haven't gotten the courtesy docks put out yet. Could be too high. That could be why they're not out. But Thank goodness this ramp's long enough where you can, but you can see the water's all up in the trees. So here we go.
Jeff Tisdale for so bad. I see eight thirteen. That was about a twenty minute run. Don't forget those uh uh Nice. There we go. Let's see how long he is. Oh yeah, he's 16 and a half inches. Right, there we go. Hold on. Hey, we're done with practice after day one. Uh, Got on to something later in the afternoon that I hope is going to hold up. I'm very confident in it. And uh, had two fish I shook off and one went at it. And uh, 
didn't get it, but if, if I could, probably could have pitched back in there and got him. But anyway, I'm pretty confident in the area and what we're going to do tomorrow. And uh, I wanted to show everybody something. Uh, people ask me all the time, hey, what kind of rods do you use? Uh, I use these Luz Speed Stick Hack Attack. Uh, got them at Academy. They're about a hundred bucks a piece. And I really love every, all of them, really. I mean, they have special ones like this is the uh, special jig rod. And uh, I put a little sticker on there that means I use this one for flipping and 20 pound test. And I just restrung this reel. It's a lose. Uh, tournament. Let's see if you can see it on there. Anyway, reel's about 150 bucks. It's the Tournament LFS series, about 150 bucks. And I use Sunline Flipping Line 20 pound test. And the reason why I do that, if you look, it looks kind of neon. But what it is, you have about 18 inches of clear and then about 12 inches of fluorescent and it makes for a real neat flip you can see it in the water very well but as you can see i'm rigging up all my line and uh rigging rods got them everywhere all right good morning everybody it's day one of the tournament saturday May 15th, BFL, and we're going to go through boat check. Number, 53. 5, 3, 53. Marlo. Yes, sir. I got you. Movie star today. Good luck to you. Pitch it on in. All right, thank you. Okay, have a good one. Boats lined up going through boat check. Supposed to have 130 boats today. All right, good morning, Steve. Who's your boater's name? This is Jack. Jack, how you doing, man? Esquire. Got him a 21 foot Ranger. Nice rig. Everybody's ready to go out here. They're still lined up at the boat ramp as usual. I'm still waiting on my co angler to show up. He's going to meet me out here on the water. And then at 6 o'clock, which is in. Oh, about 40 minutes, I think. No, nope. yeah, about 40 minutes. We'll have the national anthem, and then they'll start blasting off. All right, smile. Yeah, smile. You're on TV, <laughs> or will be next week. Looks like almost everybody's gone through boat check. We've got a few arrivals that launched at other places. Got about 130 boats.
We're gonna do this all over again tomorrow. There's my buddy Jeremy. my co-anchor Caleb tell, him, tell them where you're from I'm from Elizabeth Tennessee all right we're gonna go stick them today
ね。ね I had a bite right there too. Maybe they just haven't woke up yet. He's going to be close. We got 15 inches. Yep, he'll keep. All right, there's fish number one on a floating worm. Probably should take the time to measure him. Pretty much know he's short. Come on, dude. Yeah, he's. Yep, 14. That's three.
like he's gonna make it. He's short, he's 14. He's an old hickory bass. Golly, he's close. He's short. Watch your live feed this morning. Once I got back to the room, well done. Be sure I go check out his face, uh, his Instagram, he says. you right yep. on 600. Big Jim Fishing on YouTube. Subscribers. He's trying to hit a thousand. I see I watched yeah. it this morning. See I wasn't lying. He's got one on the scales coming in at a pound and 14 ounces. Jim, God bless. Thank you. Well done. David Faber. All right, Jeremy. Before I go a long way today. Two little ones. I only got one. Anthony Bowman, Monterey, Tennessee Bowman, or not only at Tennessee. He's got a couple of them to weigh in. Jeremy's with a two bass bag, two for the scales to say four pounds and 11 ounces. Four, 11. God bless. Hunter Bowman. All right, we're out here on day two, Center Hill Lake. Uh, this is the makeup for Percy Priest. And you can see guys are arriving from other boat ramps it's raining on us this morning good morning how you doing good morning. How are man you? them lights look sick man you mind if i put it on my youtube channel go for it what's your youtube channel big jim fishing all right i do a vlog for all the bfls awesome that's pretty sick man hey, yes, nice sir. Good luck to you today. Yeah, you too. I'm just going to go out there and cast all day. <laughs> That's what I'm good at. Ca casting and buying tackle. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You got to donate some money. Yeah. 
All right, we picked up our co-angler for day two of uh, Center Hill on May 16th. It's Garrett Smith. Say hi, Garrett. Hey, guys. How you doing? And uh, there's his friend there. It's got a bullet. What's his name? Kendall Roach. Kendall Roach. Got a nice wrap bullet. Yeah, the rain kind of stopped. Most people are through boat check already. We're just hanging out. Damn, that's a small mouth. You got him? Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. You need me to do anything else? Yeah. If he keeps, then just let me know and I'll open a live one for you. I think that one might be. Good net job. Seventeen and a half. Seventeen inches. That is incredible. That's a three pounder. Everybody, that was uh, a bad day of fishing for me. No keepers. Caught a nice smallmouth this morning, but they have to be 18 inches, and 
it was only 17 inches so it wasn't a keeper but anyway had a good time fishing with my partner and uh, my back's hurting me today so we're gonna call it the end of the day so thank you all for watching the video well hey that concludes the uh, Center Hill BFL both Saturday and Sunday uh, vlog for Music City Division uh, today was a terrible day for me uh, the lake just kicked my butt. Uh, I only caught one fish today. You saw that on the video uh, Or at least I hope you saw that on the video Only caught one fish today and it was a 17 inch smallmouth on a spinnerbait and They have to be 18 inches. So could not weigh that fish in uh, My co-angler did have a 12 inch spot It died uh, however, you can still weigh it in and he'll get points. He'll get more points than someone who doesn't weigh in a fish at all. But anyway, uh, hey, thanks for watching the video. Uh, today was humbling. I don't know why I uh, couldn't get any bites. Tried everything. Tried deep. Tried shallow. Uh, tried all different types of moving baits. Baits on the bottom just struggled I couldn't figure it out it was it was overcast and sunny most of the day and uh, just had a tough time at it but that's fishing right so on to the next one but anyway I mean I'm no pro I'm just a retired Navy guy who's out here fishing and uh, making YouTube videos so uh, and by the way uh, I'd mentioned it before but you know my videos aren't how to catch fish or to show all my fish catches it's just for entertainment purposes only so anyway you know you guys who know Center Hill leave me something down in the comments of what I should have done to catch some fish uh, do me a solid man and y'all hit the thumbs up video hit the thumbs up for the video not for how I did but for the fact that I've, I've made this video for entertainment purposes. Thanks a lot, and uh, we'll be seeing you at the next one.